I hope y'all can hear me, but y'all can't see me, I know. But we're having to bag our trucks back here around this thing. I got my brother right there. Him and Big Baby. We're bagging them up, y'all. Just to get loaded. It's not too bad. corner my brother got to go around I gotta get straight out though y'all let's see him making the turn here in a second and I said we got back up all the way back just because no one turn around <laughs> There he goes, swinging her around. Now I think we're gonna have to go around another, another turn. I'm not sure yet. I don't think they keep saying it's all the way back, all the way back. He probably got to pull up cause he done oversteered. He might can catch back up to it. Nope, he got to pull up. As you can see, Big Baby is back in action again. And so hopefully, um, we can go ahead on and start doing things the way it was intended. Hold on. I done caught a piece of cardboard up under my tire. I need to move this. Hold on. Which is what he doing right now. Y'all see the cardboard here in a second. It got caught up under my tire. It's on the left hand side. Oh, you string. There you go. So, I got Big Baby out the shop the first time. And they said, well, the lights, but well, not they said, the lights didn't work. So I had to put it back in there, take it back to him. And so my cousin, he got the lights to working. And so now she out again. And this load right here, 
I call Peter Hale trying to get down here to get it. This is my third time coming down here for this load. Third time. And so that really pissed me off with that. I don't know how much further back I got to go. I don't see nothing that I hit, no dot door or anything. I'm bagging up and I'm in a sense. Oh, I see it. Hold on. I just spotted that truck. Do we need to wait up there? You, you should be good right now. He should be able to get around you. I'm going to tell him to just wait up there. Okay, then. Yeah, yeah, it's another truck back there getting um, loaded. So it's a ramp that I got the bag up to. So he finna stop my brother, tell my brother to wait right there. I just spotted the truck. Oh, if you wanna see. Oh, you look in the mirror. It's a blue truck back there. Like a Warner trailer or whatever. I don't know if that's a Warner truck. And so it's a ramp right there. So that's what we're bagging up to. My finger, I'll try to put my finger up there, y'all. But y'all see the ramp? Y'all see the Fort Lee? So, I, um, that thing be vibrating right there. It might vibrate over here too, I don't know. So this is my third time coming down here. The first time I came down here, I got big old four here. Let me see. One, two, is that right? Three, four. They said you got five or more of your forehead really big on your fingers and stuff, but mine seem pretty, pretty big right there. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, sweetheart. <laughs> yeah, it's a kid. I got that from some little child. For Brandon, I think that's his name. And somebody asked him what he got on. He like, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, sweetheart. But anyway, y'all, so let me go off duty. He said the guy should be able to get around. That water, semi pretty. I'm gonna go off, save, go off. And what I'm talking about for the ones who wondering. Y'all should have saw it when I had it like this. So, yep. We over here, down here in um, New Orleans. That's where we at. So, we're going to see what happened, y'all. I'm sitting right here next to Palace. Oh, y'all probably already saw that, too. But, um, I forgot what I was saying. Y'all know how my brain be. But, um, this is my third time down here getting this load. To get this load, I came down here Thursday. They said they don't load at night. And then, I had to, um, I slept down here. And the next morning, I get up to cancel the load. And then, um, which I was able to rebook the load, which is the one my brother gets. And um, I saw another load that I could um, come back down here and get. And it pick up on Sunday. It was in the a.m. So when I came down here Thursday, it was Thursday. They said I'd be down here at 8 p.m. Between 8 p.m. and um, 8 p.m. and 10 p.m. But when I get here, they said they don't load the pallets at night. You have to be down here in the a.m. So I'm like, okay then. So I say I sent them a message, let them know it was the next morning, a little over 12 hours before they let me know that the load canceled. So then um they did change the timing and had it for the AM. But um I my brother got the one load to pick up today, which is Monday, the 28th. And they had it, another one to pick up Sunday in the AM on the 27th so i got that one so i just left out early and come down here got down here to get that low um sunday morning and then the guard thought i was lost i'm like no nah, i'm not lost this is where i'm supposed to be and then he was like baby ain't nobody down here but me so i'm like what he like they they're not open on sunday you have to come back tomorrow so then i called to let them know again and i just went on back to the house y'all i'm only a couple of hours from um new orleans and so I just went on back to the house. And so it was this morning before, I sh matter of fact, not too long ago, before um, probably like 30 minutes ago, 
before they sent me an email talking about we apologize um for the delays would you still be um able to get the load for 10 a.m today and so i emailed back yeah i can get the load i'm already almost here y'all so i get here and stuff and um matter of fact when i um pulled up to stop to go get ready to go in there and check in with the guard i look at looking at my phone because i'm also trying to look at the pickup number and all that stuff i got another email from them they're talking about the customer don't um load slash unload or whatever until 1900 do i want to come back tonight and get the load i'm walking into the blasting though reading this email i'm like somebody going crazy and the thing is i think it's a breakdown in communication and people are not listening because people are not understanding like the spot truck driver he was like you can't park here because they don't um unload until um six or seven tonight seven tonight eight tonight whatever tonight he's like you have to go out there and park on the road and i'm like i understand that's what time they unload sweetheart but i'm here to get loaded and when i came down here thursday they said they don't load until the a.m i was here that night i said i'm here to pick up some pallets he like oh okay then then he was still trying to get it. i said i ain't got a problem with moving which we're not in our way by the time we walked back out the door it was three trucks out there three and a, and a fourth one pulling up that's not an issue and stuff like that but me i told him that the first time i'm, I'm gonna chop it up till he didn't hear me but then i'm having to tell you again that what you're saying that i'm doing i'm not doing that i'm trying to explain to you exactly what it is i'm doing and once he got it he became very helpful and so then i went inside and then the lady she asked me a question no a guy he come out talking and i told him the same thing i was talking to the lady and uh she was like what you picking up i'm i guess i'm picking up pallets i guess i'm picking up pallets because i was just down here thursday and they said y'all don't load until the a.m not the p.m and i came down here thursday night and so and then the guy he was standing there um talking to me and he was like yeah okay then y'all getting pallets and so she gave me one paper and i could get she probably didn't hear me when because i said we but i always say we a lot and i know i say we sometimes I say we when i'm just talking about me and bit baby or me and blue and i be saying we and so i told her i said it's two of us so she gave me my paper and um i gave my brother his paper and but we had to bag all the way around here like y'all just saw us do and um to get loaded with the pallets and stuff so but overall everything is okay but now, since I just told y'all all that, I need to email them back and let them know that I'm already getting loaded. I need to explain to them. When you're picking up pallets, it's in the a.m. Don't send nobody down here at night because they ain't going to get loaded. I don't know how why it's so hard to get the right people to understand. Maybe it's the people they talking to. Somebody talking too fast on the phone. And they just so used to drivers coming down, which is the reefers, coming down here to um, unload. They unload at night. But when you get in the pallets, you have to load up in the daytime so anyway long story short i just come in here do all that say all that talking a whole bunch of nothing and now i'm about to email these folks back and explain all of that to them and i'll talk to y'all good people later all right bye